is Byzantine art history? That's a very difficult question. I'm Betsy Williams. I'm a postdoc teaching fellow uh, here in Byzantine art history at Dumbart Notes. And I work the other half of the time teaching in the art history department at George Washington University. Some people would define Byzantine art history as art that's made in the empire, um, art for Orthodox, we think of Byzantines as Eastern Orthodox. Um, but now, I think increasingly in art history, uh, we, we tend to think of Byzantine art history as connecting to a lot of other cultures around the empire itself. A lot of the textiles we have are difficult to categorize as Byzantine. Many of the textiles in this collection are from what would be called late Roman Egypt, uh, even Islamic Egypt. So I think the project itself is showing the way that maybe Byzantine art history is sort of expanding beyond its traditional focus on objects that could be clearly defined as Byzantine in a traditional sense. Textiles in this collection come mostly from Egypt. And like many um, categories of objects from Egypt, one of the reasons they even survive at all um, is because of the nice dry climate. The reason that they survive to us you know, survive to our days, in addition to this issue of the arid climate, also has to do with the fact that they were buried with bodies, and so they were used to wrap bodies. And that explains why they're so fragmentary, because uh, they often decayed with the body. I would say it's a sort of morbid history of these textiles, is that they were really part of people's funerary ensemble. This textile is made in wool, and it's made in on a loom. There is a, an underlying structure which is called the warp. And this is in a technique known as tapestry weave, which means it's woven by hand. It's kind of like drawing. I think people really take textiles for granted. We tend to imagine textiles away. And I think it's partial because textiles are really cheap nowadays. Um, and so I think one of the reasons we don't think so often of textiles is they're so easy to obtain. And that really wasn't the case in the Middle Ages. That's why these were used over and over and over again. They were too, it was too expensive. They'd have to have somebody make it for them to size and so forth. So I think that's one thing that's really surprising for people. A uh, big difference between today and in the past. People in the Middle Ages were much more aware of textiles and really valued them a lot more.